Welcome to Moonstar Lodge. I'm Catherine Gorman Lovelady, one of the elders here with my partner, Brian Lovelady. And for 41 years, we've been providing Indigenous uh, spirituality, arts, and education to the larger community. So we have some upcoming courses for the uh, spring of 2023. And the one I want to talk about right now is the drum making class. We only do this class every four or five years. And actually, this one is going to be our last um, opportunity to make them. For many years, we have been invited into the schools to teach uh, high school students how to make drums and successfully have done that. But as we get uh, on in years, we're retiring some of the more intensive, physically intensive programs, and um, focusing on mentoring shamanically uh, some of the students who want to learn how to uh, proceed as shaman. So for the time being, we were given um, a small grant by an Indigenous provincial organization to provide the opportunity to make drums one last time and that's happening on two Saturdays they're not two Saturdays in a row it's um, the first one is from 9 30 to approximately noon on Saturday June 3rd and the second class is two weeks later the same time 9 30 to noon on the 17th we chose that time because you have to have the right weather to soak the hides and, and work with them. But also the drums will be ready then for summer solstice ceremonies and powwow season. So what you are making, uh, you're making a 16 inch diameter uh, single sided ceremonial drum. And you will have also the opportunity to make a um, drumstick which we call grandmother's arm we don't use the word beater here grandmother doesn't beat grandfather drum and in the first week you're actually taking the cut hide punching holes and you're lacing the hide to the drum frame Brian will have made the frames in advance in his workshop and he is making them in the correct historical way. So there will be no metal, no kind of fastening agents. They're actually um, made in segments and, and adhesed together and cured. So the frames will be ready for the class. So the first class is applying the wet hide to the drum frame as well as making the hide end for the drumstick. It requires a good full two weeks for these drums to cure untouched. They cannot be played. They cannot be um, other than handled from the side to allow into a quiet place where they can cure and harden. They can't be decorated until that happens. So historically, we have a special place uh, where we put the, the drums and they rest in preparation for the second class on June 17th. By that time, the drums will be cured. They will have had an opportunity to set. And so in the second class, two things happen. There's some basic um, artwork that you can do. You can add ribbons. You can add uh, things to the bottom of the drum if you want. That's something you have to think of ahead of time because any extra holes along the edge of the hide for adding feathers and things need to be done at the first class. Anyway, the second class, we will be doing a birthing ceremony and discussing the treatment and care of drums. So in the past for years, 25 years, this course used to be $200, but because of the support from the provincial agency, 
The fee this time is 150. This class is almost full. I believe there are two seats left. Um, I questioned whether, you know, it was worth making a video. But if you're on the edge and you want to make an authentic ceremonial drum, which we will ceremonialize, and you will get the teachings around the drum, this is the, the class to take. And Brian will have in the bottom of the video all the information that you need to register and pay for your class and get yourself um, on the list. So we look forward to this one last celebratory time of making drums. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. Aho.